What about Shadow? Where's he? What's he doing? This is the end, my friends. That is... Okay, that's... I thought we were supposed to go down. You're not supposed to go down. This is the end. We're getting to the core, and we're gonna beat this game. Okay. Okay, I think I might have had to kill that blue guy to, uh... Proceed, so... Because otherwise, what's the point of going out there? Ah, uh, the fast water. Whoa, what was that? What do I do, Omo Chow? Yeah, I figured that out. Ah, uh, here we go. The rushing water. I want to see what's up here. Uh. Woo! Here we go. This makes sense to exist in the core, right? Yes. Definitely. Yes! <laughs> that was so easy compared to the Knuckles one. All right, we are gonna finish this game right now. Barely made it. Ooh, I hate it when they leave me behind. Look, it's Shadow. I really gotta stop whining. Everyone's trying their best to help out, and so must I. We need you! Please help us! It's all going according to plan. There's no reason for me to help them. Besides, there's no way to save anyone. There has to be! I know that people fight over the most trivial things. Some people may be selfish, like the professor said. But they're basically good if they try their best and never give up on their wishes. They always have a reason to be happy. That's why you should help them out. Saving them is a good thing. Shadow, I beg you. Please do it for them. Give them a chance. Shadow, I beg of you. Please, do it for me. For Maria. the future. For all people who live on that planet. Give them a chance to be happy. Gotta go now. I have to keep my promise to Maria and you. Well, look at that. I guess Amy was important to the plot after all. It looks just like the shrine of the Master Emerald. They probably designed the core like the shrine to harness the power of the Chaos Emeralds. I'm still kind of confused as to how Maria died. Like, they're like, oh, they sh the military shut down the station and she died, but like, did they shoot her? You're ready for that. Could this be the prototype of the ultimate life form that was supposed to be encapsulated? Leave this one to me. Encapsulated knuckles. Shadow, what are you doing? I'll take care of this. 
Bio Lizard. What a memorable boss. Oh god. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm trying to adjust my volume. Killing myself here. Look at this thing. It's humongous. So this was the prototype. Gerald's like, I'm gonna make the ultimate life form. And he made this. Oh. Okay, let's start over. My jumps weren't working right. He made this big thing, he was like, let me try that again. <laughs> and then he made Shadow. Yep. Look at this guy, he's so weird. We're gonna do that, and right there, right in the life support system. Ugh, it's got huge gills. Gross. Ah! Don't bite me. Oh, jeez. I forgot about that. Ah! Ah! It's like coughing on me. Ugh! This guy was always tough, but I love this song. It's so... Oh, jeez. God, he's big. Um, I don't know. It's it's kind of, like, creepy compared to the rest of the game. Oh, jeez. This guy is large and in charge. And it just comes out of nowhere. Like, you see a picture of him, kind of, earlier. Rouge has a picture of him when she's talking to Shadow, but, like, you're not expecting this. Alright, halfway there. Like, I've, I've played a lot of Monster Hunter. I'm no stranger to big lizards, but, jeez. This guy's got the girth. It's also like really cool to have Shadow go up against this guy since they're kind of related, you know? They're like terrible brothers. Oh, what? time. Uh, what do I have to do? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh. We just gotta, like... Oh, no! I'm gonna die! No! That's such garbage. Oh, that's such garbage. I know, Omo Chow. Yeah, so for the last phase, he, like, gets rid of gravity, and you have to float over to the core, and without hitting anything. And I ran into his neck. We'll get it. You 
piece of garbage. Let's try again. Right there. Yes! Oh, jeez. One bio lizard down. Get out, you ugly prototype. That's right, Shadow. are the seven chaos chaos is power power is enriched by the heart the controller is the one that unifies the chaos only you can do this stop the chaos emeralds Stop the Chaos Emeralds. Why is the space colony still on a crash course to Earth? Sonic?
I must destroy all the evil the professor has created. No way that's getting through! Shadow, I beg of you. Maria. Give them a chance to be happy. This is what you wanted, right? This is my promise I made to you. Shadow? Do you really think that the professor created him, oh Shadow, to carry out the revenge on all those who live here on Earth? He was what he was, a brave and heroic hedgehog who gave his life to save this planet. Shadow the Hedgehog. Alright, this is going to be some weird wrap up. Exposition here, <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the end. We beat Sonic Adventure 2. I hope you enjoyed it. That ending is still awesome. Like taking out the Bio Lizard, and then they're like, "Oh no, it's merged with the with the colony. It's still gonna crash into Earth because um, it's like evil or you know hates everybody." And then Sonic and Shadow, like, Sonic goes Super Sonic, which I know you haven't seen yet because you can do it in Sonic 2 and 3, and I never did because I couldn't get all the emeralds. He goes Super Sonic, Shadow goes Super, and out in space they they destroy the lizard and then use a huge chaos control to move the colony back out into space. It's awesome. Now, Shadow apparently falls to Earth and dies... For some reason, I don't know why that happens to him and not Sonic. Um, but pretty cool. And Shadow did return later in his own game, Shadow the Hedgehog, and he had a gun. So, you know. He came back for revenge or something. I don't even know what that game's about. What a bunch of dorks. Anyway. So I don't think we got all the answers that we needed for the whole Gerald Maria story, but uh, you know, you get kind of the, the overall picture. Um, it's been a long, long time since I've played through this game, and it's still so good. I have very minor complaints. That one Knuckles part of the final level was probably the hardest level in the game. <laughs> um... And you know, this. There's some minor complaints about the game. It's got a couple of issues, but those I think can be overlooked for how just excellent and like packed full of great, memorable things it has. So. Oh man, it's so good. Um, I know that we, we started this whole thing out just playing the, the original Genesis games, but I added this as a bonus game because I really wanted everyone to see it um you know if you've never played it never seen it before i wanted you to see it um if you get the chance you should play it yourself because it's very good such good music i didn't even want to talk during the final boss because live and learn is like a classic
All right, that is it for Sonic Adventure 2. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. I love that game. I had a great time going through it again. Um, it's still... I, I remembered it being really good, and it holds up. Still very good. They never made Sonic Adventure 3, but I think if they did now, it would be... Uh, it, it has big shoes to fill. Now, as I mentioned at the end of Sonic & Knuckles, uh, you know, after the Genesis games, they switched into 3D with Sonic Adventure, and they've been making 3D Sonic games ever since, basically, um, with mixed results. You know, some of them, like, Adventure 2 are really good, a couple of them, you know, are, are kind of weird, people don't like them. Uh, Sega, at one point, did try to make Sonic the Hedgehog 4, uh, which I never played, I think it was like an Xbox game or something. Um, I don't think that people loved it. Uh, I watched a little bit of it, and it looked a little awkward, but they never really went back to the, the old style that people really liked, unfortunately. So, that's it for me. Thank you again for indulging me in my bonus Sonic game. Uh, but you know what? We've played so much Sonic now in a row, I am done. I'm all Sonic'd out. I couldn't play another Sonic game. So, anyway. Next week. Thank you.